hi guys i'm rachel and thank you so much for watching if you're new here thank you for subscribing if you're looking please subscribe and be sure to hit the bell so that you do not miss my uploads i upload every wednesday and sunday um, also like comment share help me grow here on youtube so today i created this look i do not even know who i'm gonna call it as yet but it's really inspired by this new lip color that i purchased I, it has it has replaced my all my reds i love it so much so it's sort of more leaning to a holiday look because thanksgiving and everything is right around the corner so i'm like you know what why not do something that could be used for the holidays as usual everything i use will always be listed in the description box down below so be sure to check that out on my social media so you can follow me on my instagram shades of chels and chels makeup edition so if you want to see how i did this look stay tuned Okay guys, so I'm using two primers today. I'm using my NYX Angel Veil Primer and I'll be going in with my um, MAC Long Radiance on the sides of my face and underneath my eyes because that's where it's drier on my skin. And I'm starting it from the center of my face and I'm sp spreading it out to the rest of my face. This is going to give me a nice coverage and cause my makeup to look good throughout the day. You know what I mean? Then I'm using my trick. I'm just using some um, Sasha Buttercup Translucent Powder on this puff and I'm pressing that in everywhere I get oily. This helps to keep my oils at bay. That's basically my nose and my chin. And I'm using a new foundation today. I'm using this CoverGirl Matte Made Foundation and I must say I'm not too impressed with it. I probably won't reach for it again. Anyone who likes a natural coverage will probably love this foundation. I did my first layer and Everything on my skin, on my hyperpigmentation, everything was still peeking through. I hate that. I'm a full coverage girl. I applied two layers and I still did not like it. So I didn't like the coverage, but the formula is a very nice. So someone who likes that kind of coverage from a foundation probably will love that. I was able to get it up to a light. Um, to, um, light is, sorry, it's buildable. It's like light medium. I was able to get it up to a medium coverage like light medium not even totally medium and i did two layers yeah i didn't like it so this is me using my mac um found it, um concealer to do some spot correcting because everything was still picking through and i do not like that if you like that you can do that i personally don't so that's bye bye for this foundation then i'm doing my brows i'm using my trusty morphe 25b palette for that and I'm filling my brows as per usual, starting at the top, the bottom, then brushing that through with my spoolie. Brush, 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 come through, your spoolie is your best friend. Then I'm using my Cov um, Colourpop <laughs> concealer and i'm planning it on my usual areas i'm blending the center of my face with a brush i prefer to use a brush to the center of my face and i'm going to use my beauty sponge my real techniques body sponge actually to blend the rest off underneath my eyes and my nose and i'm also using this as the base for my shadows later as well and i'm continuing to blend this out Now my damn beauty sponge is my favorite way to apply my makeup and my powders. So now I'm going to go in with my favorite powder of all time, my Ben Nye Banana Powder. And I'm going to set everything in place. This is going to help everything to stay in place throughout the day. My concealer doesn't move. My eyeshadow stays in place. Creates a nice smooth base for everything going over top. using the excess to tap it in in the cooler months this dry sponge makes it easier for me to stay my skin to look luminous and stay hydrated than a puff i tried using a puff i don't like it this is me just dusting off the excess powder now i'm using my cover girl ebony bronzer and this um, real techniques contour brush and i'm contouring my face i'm starting just a little bit higher in the the tops of my ears 
and blending that in on the sides of my cheeks, my forehead, my jawline, all the usual places where I contour. I'm bringing back some warmth and color to my face. And I like my bronzers to look sort of reddish because it complements my skin tone better. And here I'm using my kiss powder and I'm contouring my nose. And that's the reason why I left the powder there. It helps me. It's like a guideline for me when I'm dusting. When I'm contouring my nose, it's like I'm dusting off the powder. So it makes it work in the long run. Grabbing my Jaclyn Hill palette now and my um, Morphe E27 brush. And I'm grabbing the shade Buns. And I'm using that as my first transition color. I'm patting it in, then I'm using windshield wiper motions and some small circular motions to build that up in my crease area. This is going to act as my transition shade for the other colors to come. Take your time with this. Then I'm grabbing this shade underneath. I don't remember the name. I'll list everything in the description box. And I'm using a more precise crease brush. This is my Morphe 330 brush. And I'm applying this just directly in my crease underneath the first color that I, that I placed down. Back and forth windshield wipe motion. I'm packing this until I get, again, the pigment that I'm looking for. Blend, blend, blend. Do you see how much times I actually do this? This doesn't take me two seconds. It takes me a while. And I'm going back with that first brush and that color and we're going to mesh these two together because we do not want any harsh lines. We're going to blend it out until it's seamless like it is here. Now I'm using this uh, bronzy color. I just love the color of bronze with red lips, which is what I'll be using. And I sprit my brush with some makeup setting spray and I'm going to tap that onto my eyes. I'm not going to do anything very defined. You know, I like effortless looking makeup. So I'm just going to put that all over my, my lid and just a little bit in my crease to create this little messy look. And this is a synthetic brush. It picks glitter up better than a natural hairbrush. So that is why I'm using that brush and it's flat. So it's going to just pack that color on for me. It's going to give me exactly what it is I want. Here I went and added some powder because I was getting some fallout. I dust the powder off and I set my face because I want to get rid of all the powder that I use. This is a step that you should not skip. Always set your face with a setting spray. It helps the powder to dissolve. And I went underneath my eyes with that color, that second dark color, and I'm just buffing it off to create seamlessness, if that's a word. <laughs> Using an eye coal, this is my L'Oreal Silicosini, and I love black in my waterline. It's my preference. I'm just going to line my eyes to make it pop. Adding some blush. I think I use my BH Cosmetics blush here. Then mascara. I'm not using any lashes. If you want to use lashes, you can. I just do not want lashes today. So I'm just using my mascara and applying a couple coats in my top and my bottom lashes. Never skip your mascara. Even if you have teeny tiny lashes, it makes it pop. Now I'm using my um, Shayla and Colourpop booming highlight and I'm just highlighting my face basically <laughs> everywhere <laughs> then I'm setting my brows with my got to be gel gotta set those brows so it stays in place all day now I'm using my NYX brown cafe lip liner just to give my lips a little something for that lips to, the lipstick to hold after and this is the star of the show my Morphe um what is the name of it again hot shots Hot shot liquid lipstick. I love this red so so much. It's beautiful. And this is a completed look. I think this is perfect for the holidays. I love the combination of red and bronze together. Um, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.